I remember the first time I felt the impact of cancer. The cheerful and loving aunt that I knew never truly recovered after being diagnosed with breast cancer. And the reality is that half of the people in this room will develop cancer. So what are we doing about this? The key to eradicating cancer is within each and one of us. It's our, our immune system. The problem is that some cancers can hide from the immune system. They do so by suppressing the local immune response. Our product identifies the hidden tumors by making the invisible visible. Our drug has two components. First is an antibody that is able to recognize laminin in tumor tissue. Second is a signaling protein as that, is, that can direct and strengthen the signals of the immune system, which then recruits T cells to the right spot. Our target, laminin, is only expressed in tumor tissue and not in healthy tissue. This means our drug only delivers treatment to the laminin in tumors while reducing off-target adverse effects. This is a simply administered injection that we believe can treat many types of solid cancers, such as lung, breast, and pancreatic cancer. Our in vivo experiments have showed success in shrinking the tumor and increasing survival times. And now we're raising 3 million pounds to complete preclinical testings and prepare for human trials. I want to leave you with this final message. While cancer can hide, we can find it and we can destroy it. Thank you. Uh, perhaps I'll go first. So, presentation and pitch, thank you. So you mentioned there's a wide variety of cancers that you can go after. Um, which cancer would you go after in the first instance? So currently we're screening for various types of solid cancers. Our first market will be based on cancer that express high levels of laminin. So we will also be looking into other markets afterwards, depending on the demand and the market size. How specific is your um, antibody? So we're using, uh, in laminin, there's many types of laminin. We're specifically looking into one. I cannot really go into the details of the laminin, but unless you want to sign a NDA, I would love to speak to you. <laughs> and I imagine you've been speaking to many <laughs> clinicians, uh, um, maybe cancer surgeons. Um, what's, what's been their feedback? Right. Uh, currently, we're actually only in preclinical trials, but we actually have not spoken to a lot of clinicians. Uh, I am speaking to one currently, and the consensus is that uh, a need for a new therapy is uh, very much in demand. And how big do you think the opportunity is for this target? Well, our target specifically is a target that is only expressed in tumor tissue. Um, what we are specifically working on is reducing any types of systemic toxicity. Uh, we've seen great success in in vivo models, and we can expect to uh, go into clinical trials and at least uh, complete our first uh, phase one clinical mm -hmm. trial. And how big is the market opportunity for that specific target? Very good question, sir. I will not be able to answer you right now. Okay, so I'm sure many of you will have questions for Alex later on, and. The time to take them up is afterwards. Thanks, everybody. We've got the opportunity to thank Alex again for a great presentation. <laughs>